Hi, we're back with another Twin Flame. I'm just going to call it a Twin Flame Union Within reading. Yeah. That's so, good. Perfect. Good. I love that we're just like making up things as we go. <laughs> yeah, we're creating as we, as we um, share with you guys. So that's cool. All right, so we've got today for the Twin Flame Collective reading, um, we have four cards from the Romance Angels. Feels a little uh, romantic up in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we've got two cards from the Power of Surrender deck. There we go. And then we're going to do something special for you guys, too. After we do our card reading, what we're going to do is we're going to invite you to, like, pause this video, okay? And when you pause the video, you're going to, we're going to pull one card from our Angel Answers deck. Okay, so when you pause the video, and we'll let you know when to do that, we want you to ask your heart or what question is in your heart. And no, it's going to be like um, a one answer question, right? Like the angel answers deck, it provides like a yes or a no or trust or it provides um, answers like that. So let your question be short and simple, um, like for to receive a, you know, um, to basically to receive the answer that you're that you're seeking right does that make sense yeah well yeah the answer you need right? yeah the answer you need sorry mm -hmm. i'm sorry the answer you need yeah mm -hmm. just basically what i'm saying is keep your your questions short and simple yeah all right so <laughs> pretty good yeah so we're gonna get started with our reading and our very first card is well it says soulmate but it's this is a twin flame reading right mm -hmm. so this is actually a twin flame couple and it says, yes, this is your twin flame. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you're watching this reading, um, know that the person that you're inquiring about is your twin flame. This is a little confirmation for you. Um, if you're getting nudges in your heart and you are um, you know, receiving signs and synchronicities, choose to trust those and choose to trust what your heart is showing to you or re revealing to you. And um, yeah, just enjoy the revealing of your true twin flame in your heart, in your reality. I feel like that's also the card is saying like you're on the right path. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's absolutely right. Yeah, mm -hmm. that feels good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For our next card, we have finances and career. So financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Here we go. So are you worrying about your finances? Are you worrying about um, support? Or you're doubting that you'll be fully supported on your journey? Um, this is an invitation to, you know, choose to trust, um, you know, that you are supported, whether that be in the unfolding of your twin flame union or the unfolding of your life purpose and, you know, your career. You can choose and claim your support in any given moment. Know that anytime you're following your heart, you're always going to be supported in that way. You're an abundant divine being, and it's the support is there just simply by you choosing it and receiving it, being open to receive it in whatever way it comes to you. Yeah, and also you don't have to be like in a specific place to get your union or to get your twin flame. You know, mm -hmm. you're perfect right now. So uh -huh. it's like a... Yeah. <laughs> Just move right along. Yeah. yeah. You could you, basically like, it doesn't matter if you were living in a cardboard box. Mm -mm. Um, you, that's not going to prevent you from being with your twin flame. Now, obviously you don't want to be living in a cardboard box, mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean that you're not worthy mm -hmm. of your union. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. you're worthy in this moment of your union. Yep. It's really you just <clears throat> releasing the beliefs and believing that you're not yet worthy or you're not yet, um, I don't know, perf yeah. 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 Yeah, and you can start living your life purpose, you know, no matter if you're, you know, in physical union or not. It's just, yeah, yeah just do what you're called to do. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right. So the next card we have is Retreat. Here we go. Beautiful. And it says, it's time to disconnect from the world. Yeah, so it's always good to retreat within and know that you are one with your twin flame and that communication that you desire 
that connection that you desire, you can automatically connect and communicate with your twin in your heart right now. Mm -hmm. um, and that communication, whether you're, you know, physically talking to them right now or you're not, um, that communication manifests and deepens as a result of you connecting with them in your heart. You want to connect, which is connecting with yourself. And as you do that, that naturally manifests and deepens in your reality. Yeah. And also, too, like pulling your, taking your power away from any illusions. Like if you're believing that you and your twin flame are separate or you're seeing that your twin flame is maybe dating, uh, dating another person, like taking back your power from that illusion and realizing the truth in your heart that only your twin flame is designed for you and vice versa. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's an invitation to like do that exercise every day, like even taking your power back, but mm -hmm. also like visualizing that uh, oneness in your yeah. heart, like feeling your twin flame on the inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those visualization tools really um, help mm -hmm. um, propel you forward on your journey and really allow you to um, fill into the vibration of your union mm -hmm. and that naturally attracts it to you. You're tapping into that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's your power. <laughs> and then our next card we have is playfulness. Here we go. You see the twin flames playfully flirting and loving one another, just enjoying their romance. It says, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to fun of fun to shine. Yeah, so... It's so easy to, um, you know, on the, you know, when you're on the twin flame journey, whether you're just starting out or whether you've been on it for a while, um, it can be easy to fall into that state of um, feeling like devastated or um, feeling like you're dredging through the mud and just things aren't really seeming to change or, um, but you don't want to get stuck in that. You don't want to let yourself get caught in those feelings. You don't want to, um, basically we, we call those feelings like poop, right? It's easiest way to like, those are poopy feelings and you don't want to roll around in the poop, right? You don't want to, it's, it, you want to feel those feelings, right? Like if you're feeling that upset, that pain, that devastation, like let yourself feel through that because feelings are healings, right? But you don't want to roll around in it. You don't want to stay in it. Um, you want to bring yourself to a place of peace, and you want to have that lightheartedness, that playfulness, that joy, that ease. And that's what also, too, naturally manifests manifest your union into your reality. Yeah. Very magnetizing. Mm -hmm. Very magnetizing, yes. When you feel good, you get good. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> when you feel good, you get good. <laughs> that's really good. I like that. <laughs> that's perfect. All right. So now, yeah, we'll move on to our power of surrender cards. So the first card we have is surrender stubbornness. If you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. Yeah, so you don't want to look at your journey in a rigid context or you don't want to um yeah you don't want to look at it or have like a defensiveness about it or a stubbornness about it like um well that's not what i want or um that's not playing out the well the way that i felt it should right that's being um like stubborn and kind of like a defensive energy and that kind of keeps you stuck and stagnant Whereas you just want to relax into your journey, relax and surrender um, stubbornness or any, any kind of defensiveness energy and know that your journey is unfolding perfectly for you. And the experience that you're having right now, the experience that you're having in this moment right now is perfect for you. And there's purpose in that. Um, it doesn't matter what you're going through, whether it be, uh, you know, a feeling of a not so good experience or a really juicy experience. Um, that is the ebb and the flow of the journey. The flow of the journey is not always going to be a flow, right? It, it, it's always a flow, but in that you're going to have an ebb, 
where you're gonna dip down and you're gonna do healing and you're going to really explore the, the depths of your being. And so you don't wanna be uh, rigid or stubborn or defensive in that. You wanna just surrender into that flow and um, know that that's guiding you to all of your good perfectly. Yeah, just be aware when you feel like that, you know, oh, mm -hmm. you know, not be like attaching to that, but like, yeah. oh, what is this? Why am I being yeah. resistant right now? You know. There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can choose to surrender resistance when you find that you're being resistance and resistant in that place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. And then the next card we have is surrender to prayer. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arrive. This is a beautiful card to the end of the reading. Yeah, just choosing and claiming your support and, you know, pray to the divine. You know, ask, ask for that support. Ask and you shall receive always. You're God's divine child. And, you know, anytime you're calling in that support, you're going to be fully supported. Yeah, just, just receive it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Believe yeah. you are receiving. Believe you are receiving, yeah. Mm -hmm. you're, you're receiving in every moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Does that feel complete? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. feels complete to me too. So here's to the end of the reading. And remember, we're going to, we've pulled an Angel Answers uh, card for you guys. So it doesn't matter when you're watching this reading or who's watching this reading, um, this, it's still irrelevant because remember divine order, divine timing. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you're watching this right now is perfect timing for you. And so you can just go ahead and hit pause. Don't worry, Adam and I will wait. <laughs> All right. So, um, so after you hit pause and you've asked your question, um, we've pulled a card and we're going to see what that card is. So here's the answer to your question. And the answer revealed is not the right time. Yeah, so whatever question that you've asked, um, know that God through the angel answers card or the angel answer card are saying not, not the right time. Yeah. Yeah, but stay open. That's what this, mm -hmm. um, I guess angel or woman is saying, yeah. like, stay open yeah. because, you know, yeah. the opportunity is going to mm -hmm. come along, but be open. It might not look exactly like you feel like it should, but... Exactly. Yeah. And also, too, what I'm getting from this is just to surrender. Yeah. Um, because in your simple state of surrendering, um, the right time could be in the next hour. Mm -hmm. The right time could be tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, the right time could be you know, right under your nose and right. So I feel like, yeah, this card is just basically inviting you to surrender and um, whatever you're asking, um, whatever you're inquiring about in this reading, um, just choose to surrender right now and uh, just let that unfold for you. And that answer will come to you. You can choose to surrender and then ask to receive an answer when the time is right for you and be open to receiving that answer. Amen. Amen. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. So we hope you guys enjoyed our reading and we'll, we, we will be back with more. We love you very much. Bye. Bye.